last night was long. Last night was super long. I got off work and came home and started putting together the model. So today you'll get to see that the Boba Fett. So I was, I think I was up to like 1, 1 30 putting together Boba Fett and making sure that he had his decals, everything was taken care of. So y'all get to see Boba Fett. And I'm excited, I'm excited for that. I'm really am. I'm really excited for y'all to see Boba Fett. Because he turned out he turned out pretty cool. He turned out pretty, pretty cool. Um all of the Star Wars figures have actually turned out pretty sweet. So I genuinely I genuinely love them. So that's pretty cool. Um I'm not gonna keep this long because we do have that video about to play. But I do want to show you all the coolest thing. The next thing you are about to see is the new logo for the Model X page. So I'm going to throw that up there and then we're going to start the video. I hope y'all like it. Let's get this started. And this is the Model X logo. So the biggest issue that I'm running into now is using this time to talk about the video as it's being made. I'm not very good at talking. Talking is not one of my favorite things to do, but I feel like it would add a little bit more life to the videos. So what we're going to do is as the video goes on, I'm going to give you a little bit of information, some of the hiccups that I ran into, and just talk for y'all and hopefully add more life to the video. And if there's anything y'all can suggest, please let me know. But what you saw at the beginning was the new Model X logo. And I genuinely love it. A friend of mine came up with it and I think it's pretty banging. So that's what we'll be rolling with. And I'm excited for it. You all get to see the logo implemented into the Facebook page, the Instagram, as well as YouTube. And I will definitely be using it as the intro watermark as well for any of the upcoming projects i realized that the video is about 15 minutes long and i'm going to have to talk for 15 whole minutes so there's probably going to be a lot of silence and you're just going to hear the music playing in the background but the boba fett turned out pretty good i liked i liked it um the star wars kits normally come with about five runners I want to say five, seven runners at most. Um, at least the Vader, Boba Fett, Stormtroopers did. So I'm not sure about the ships or the Millennium Falcon or anything. But the actual characters themselves don't have that many runners, which is pretty cool. Um, there's no spare, there's like four spare parts for this guy and that's it. Um, I think I've had four spare parts for all of them. So that's, that's a little different. But it's, it's pretty cool putting them together. Um, I was, I don't know what I was expecting when I saw the like photos, everything of like the weathering on the armor. I thought that would have been a pretty cool addition to have and it's not there, but that's something I just have to learn to do as a builder. So that will be the next step is learning how to do the weathering for Boba Fett's armor. Um, there's a lot of small pieces to these guys though. But I mean, those who've built like any of the, any of like, I would say main character Gundams knows that there's a lot of small parts, like the V fins are so fragile and Lord forbid you mess up one of the V fins. It just, it ruins the entire character or it makes him battle scarred, depending on how you want to look at it. But the, the Boba Fett came out nice. I liked it. Um, the little caps that go in the back I think those hold on the armor as you can see there um, I'm about to pop that on so I do a lot of the video editing and then the recording after so this will be me looking back on the build itself as opposed to a more live thing but yeah I really liked how Boba Fett turned out it was pretty sweet um, I'm so glad I was able to shorten these videos though because they were normal. they were running like 30 minutes to an hour and I couldn't do that. There was no way that I could do an hours long worth of conversation.
So right in through here, you can see where the pieces for his chest armor. What's pretty cool is it's um it's all separate pieces. It's not done up as if it was one whole piece. So I like the detail right there, and then that middle chest piece. That's pretty sweet. And uh, the decals the decals set pretty nicely. Um, I don't know how to use water slide decals yet, so that's something I'm also going to look into learning how to do. But until then, I just use the stickers. The stickers turn out fine. Um, I think they look pretty nice. This part right here though, I think I, the head, the neck piece where his head goes on, pretty sure I put that on upside down and I had to go back and fix it. So that's what happens. A lot of the times I'll go through and I'll put these things together and I'll realize, oh no, I made a mistake. And then the fun part kicks in of taking it apart without breaking anything. Some of my earlier builds, I've, I, th I want to say it was the Master Grade of G Gundam, and like, there's one other that I can't think of right now, that I, I messed up a part. Oh, is the, is the, the regular Stormtrooper. Um, his kneecap is a little messed up, so I had to fix that one, um, patch and go. So, that's just another thing, is be careful when putting these things together because I, I I'm like oh I read the instructions I think I'm doing a good job and then I'll look at it and I'm like yo that's that's wrong I did this backwards so then I have to go back and I have to fix it and I have to undo things and you can see some of the times I have I have some serious trouble popping these parts up um, apart as weird to say um, it's just they're Thankfully, they're not meant to like come apart super easy, which that's cool. And as you can see there, like it was, it was one, 12, one in the morning. Um, so I dropped the runners a lot this go around. I think I've actually hit the camera once. But like I said, I, I just wanted to get it taken care of so I didn't have to worry about it later. And I took away the uh, black little um, layout in the back because it was nice contrast it's just until I find a better material it's it was just a black bedding sheet draped over a table that's all it was and it was getting it was getting dusty it was the parts like the little nubs and stuff were um, catching on the fabric and they were just it was it was hard to keep it clean and I mean I had my monitors and stuff draped over there so it just created this issue so I just kind of took it away. I'll come back to it later. The cool thing about the Star Wars model kits though, is that I know the Gundam ones give you kind of a visual of where you're going, but the Star Wars model kits are like, okay, cool. This is what this goes, this is where this goes. And it feels like there's a lot less parts to it. But that's also because I would, I personally would say they're not as intricate as um, any of the Gundam figures. Like, I mean, the Star Wars ones are pretty cool. Like, right here, you can see I'm using tweezers to put. I want to say it's like um, knee missiles. I can't remember Boba Fett's armory, but I want to say it's like a little knee missiles. And those things are tiny. At some point in time, I show it to the camera. I think I've already done that. Um, it's just so small. It looks like it would be just a part of a, a nub that was just removed. So, I mean, they've got the small details. But, like, Amaro has in the um, RX, the Origin version, you can see where um, he has the cockpit that you can pop down and put the little figure in there. That was in another video. Then you have like Death Scythe, he has a little cockpit. The Zaku has a chest piece that slides up to show where the pilot would go. So I mean, they're both pretty intricate. Um, I just personally, I like the small details that go into the Gundams. Uh, I'm gonna be real y'all, Grandpa is hands down my favorite. I just love how he looks. I'm actually looking at him right now. I just love how he looks. Um, it's so cool but that's like my first that was my first introduction to things that wasn't g gundam g 
Gundam was my first Gundam series, but the RX-78 was the first not, like, I guess you would call, I can't think of how the Gundam universe works. Like, I think I've seen, I've seen G Gundam, I've seen bits of Wing, I've seen bits of Seed, so, and I've seen part of the Origin series in, like, the first season of Iron-Blooded Orphans, so I'm not entirely sure how everything ties together, how the timeline works, so, I've seen those bits and pieces, but the RX-78 is hands down my favorite, um, just because of its simple design. Yeah, the the Star Wars models are pretty cool. I like them. Um, just small pieces, man. Specifically, Boba Fett's knee. That is the smallest piece I've ever put together for a Star Wars figure. But you can see that they fly by, though. I feel like 15 minutes into a Ma Star Wars model kit, I'm I should be not done, but like 15 minutes worth of a Star Wars model kit, video-wise, is the entire thing. And I feel like 15 minutes worth of one of these Gundam model kits is like, boom, we're done with the upper half. So, it's just, that's, that's a, it's weird coming from that. I do plan on doing the Millennium Falcon, that'll be pretty tight. So, that's something to look forward to in the future. Um, this piece, I actually put the part in upside down, and I didn't realize it until I got to the other leg. So, a lot of the off-camera stuff that you're seeing is me trying to pry that piece apart. And I don't have nails like that. So, it's me trying to pry it apart without breaking off anything. And, I mean, I tried to take the tweezers and turn it around, as you can see right here. And it, it didn't really, uh, didn't want to work with me, so... It was it's kind of a pain I don't know how I was able to pop it off without breaking anything voila I got it so I was able to just flip that bad boy around boom pop his sockets back in and make sure that you know they lined up made sure that that one was fully popped in and now Boba Fett has legs I always think it's funny because you look at a Gundam and you put the legs on they don't have arms you're like oh ha it's a robot that's just being built but Boba Fett has arms so when you put the legs on before the arms you're looking at this little humanoid figure that's just like I have no arms guys please create my arms and it's just weird Then his small little, I guess you would call them packs, is what I would call them, on his waist. That was pretty cool. The uh, Star Wars figures have a lot of, like, waist accessories, I guess you would say. Like, Vader's got his belt that has all his stuff on it. The troopers have their utility belts with their holsters. And Boba Fett's got his bags on his front pouches and the... Um, holster that's the word I was looking for the holster for his pistol I guess it I think it's a pistol or the Star Wars equivalent of a pistol excuse me so he's got that which is it, it was kind of cool it was different the um, you'll see it coming up the way the uh, holster sits is kind of cool So when I went to put the legs on for our good friend here, I was looking and I was like, I'm pretty sure 
Boba Fett is shorter than the rest. And Boba Fett is indeed shorter than Vader, at least um, model-wise. So a lot of the times once we put these together, I have to go find music for them. And I think I said it the other day. I just, I really like the way the lo-fi sounds. I mean, some of the uh, YouTube tracks though are bops. They, they are pretty cool. So we don't play those every now and then. Um, and I just have to go through and edit them to be an hour long because that's just, that's just how life is, man. It's gotta be an hour long so I can have wiggle room just in case I decide to extend something or something something is longer than I expected it to be. And then I forgot that he has little his little um, things on his arm. His I guess you would call them tassels that hang from his right arm so I went to pop the arm on and I was like yeah, there's a weird there's some weird gapping right here did I do something wrong yeah I did something wrong I forgot to put the tassels on so I had to take his arm off and those are kind of cool It's always funny looking at the differences between the Gundam models and the Star Wars models because how the Gundam models handle shoulder pads and stuff is is very unique. And then you have like the Star Wars models. It's like, hey, we're gonna put this on like a little hinge, and it's it's cool. I like it. Um, I really do want to get around to putting some of the ships together. It's just going to be a minute. I'm actually looking to do. Either something of the Armored Core series. Um, I want to do the Frame Girls. I really do. The Frame Girls look cool, and it's it's specifically because it's this human mech thing. We went to a con, and they had some, and they looked cool. My only issue with buying things like the Frame Girls is it feels like it's just a lot of fan service, and I don't want to be that guy that's putting model kits together because it and it looks like fan service because that's not what I'm here for. I really like the the mech robot thing. So, oh look, it's the tassel. It's that tassel I was talking about. So, we might do one of the frame girls. I just, we'll see. They are, some of them are really fan ish which is weird. And now his arm goes properly. So, we'll see though. I want to do one of those, um... I want to do the Armored Core ones. Zona Enders has like two of them that I'd like to do. I'd like to do a Metal Gear one. Um, I think it's the Rex is the one I'm trying to get my hands on. I just, I'm trying to think of all of the mech things that there could be model kits of. And I mean, I've got Zone of Enders, Armored Core, Gundam, Them, that one Metal Gear. That's it. I can't really think of any other model kits that would still be up and running. So, I mean, hands down, would love to do a Meta B because, like I said, that was my first introduction to model kits. So, 
so if I can get my hands on one of those, that'll be a pretty tight video. But, I mean, if y'all can think of any other um, pretty cool mech-based model kits, drop those in the comments below, and I'll definitely check them out. Um, I will plan on... I, I... not plan on... I definitely will be doing um, Goku once I get my hands on Goku, because, you know, it's Sun Goku. It's cool for, like, Dragon Ball reasons. Not gonna do the entire Dragon Ball cast, but literally might just do Sun Goku, Trunks, uh, the Androids, Vegeta, Krillin, you know, the main cast. Um, but Goku has like four or five different models based off of his Super Saiyan forms. So, I mean, that's cool. And I hope you all enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down at the bottom. Um, yeah, please comment any of the model kits that you would like to see done. Any recommendations you have would appreciate it. And if, like I said, if there's anything y'all got, please let me know and we'll give it a shot. Um, don't forget to hit that uh, Facebook button. Go follow that page there. We do have some cool stuff that I post up there and follow the Instagram. But of course, hit the like and subscribe for the YouTube channel as well so you can at least keep these videos coming. So, but that's been Boba Fett, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. Peace.